Hey, YouTubers, something important, something kind of damn important. So, it's Medical Thursday right now, like the big ass cigar right now. So, yes, Medical Thursday, like the big ass cigar. It's also Thanksgiving, nice like big ass Thanksgiving, like the big ass cigar. So, anyway, just being silly ass, like the big ass cigar. So, yeah, Medical Thursday right now, like the big ass cigar. Also, not a doctor for the last damn time. That's my usual disclaimer I'm not a doctor for the last damn time. So, anyway. So it's going to be another health-related uh, topic. So this health-related topic right now is covering um, benefits of quitting tobacco before age 35. So you have tobacco, cigarettes, cigars, and pipes, and chewing tobacco, and dipping tobacco, and snus, and snuff, and vaping. And um, basically, what are the benefits of quitting before you turn 35 years old? Now, I'm 31 myself. I'll be 32 next year. Yes, I'm aware I look young for my age. I look young. People are going to say, you know, you look like 19 years old, obviously being eight it's, you know, whatever. So anyway, essentially, what are the benefits? So the benefits are, there are several benefits. Um, first off, your risk of long-term illness, because obviously people get older, just naturally people get older. So people get into their 40s, their 50s, their 60s, their 70s, their 80s, and so on and so on. And eventually we all know we're all going to die eventually. I mean, that's just a fact of life. It's a fact, Jack. Don't talk back. Don't talk crap. I mean, obviously it's a fact, Jack, that everyone's going to die eventually, whether you smoke or not. But basically, uh, quitting before you, especially cigarettes, you know, fucking cigarettes, before you turn uh, 35 years old is very beneficial to your health. Because quitting uh, cigarettes before age 35, uh, even if you're smoking a pack a day, a pack and a half a day, if you quit before the age of 35, you greatly, greatly, greatly reduce your long-term health risk. Your risk of emphysema, your risk of lung cancer, your risk of cardiovascular disease, your your risk of stroke, heart attack, uh, vascular disease, uh, your risk of cancers, uh, mouth, throat, pancreatic cancer, liver cancer, bladder cancer, colorectal cancer, um, pretty much every type of cancer. If you quit before the age of 35, obviously not a doctor for last damn time, I'm not a fucking doctor for last damn time, but yeah. If you quit before the age of 35, you are greatly reducing your health risk. There is a statistic from the American Cancer Society, and I'm not sure exactly where the statistic came from, so don't quote me on this. Something like, if you quit before the age of 35, you're about 90% less likely to experience the health problems. So your risk goes down by about 90% if you quit before the age of 35. So people who quit before the age of 35 are are less likely to experience about 90% of, you know, health-related problems. And I believe that's an American Cancer Society uh, statistic. So, uh, so there are many benefits to quitting smoking. The earlier you quit, the better. So if you can quit by, uh, I don't know, 20 years old, your risk is even lower. I've read statistics that people who quit smoking uh, before the age of 30, uh, people who are 29 and younger who quit smoking, even people who are fairly heavy smokers, um, their risk, their long-term risk of like cancer, heart disease, emphysema is is pretty much the same as a non-smoker, as a never smoker. Well, not exactly the same, obviously not a doctor, not a fucking doctor, but yeah, their risk is about is pretty much the same as a never smoker because they quit so early in life. And believe me, there are always uh, benefits. Even if you quit smoking by the age of 40, there are statistics that show, for example, you get back nine years of life. Even if you quit smoking by the age of 50, you get six years back of life. Even if you quit smoking by the age of 60, you get four years back of life. Now, that's all assuming, this is all assuming, and even people who are in their 30s and 20s, this is all assuming you haven't developed detrimental health problems, you know, really bad health problems. This is all assuming by the time you're 40 or 50 years old, you don't have permanent emphysema. You don't have cancer. And contrary to popular belief that, oh, only the old people, you know, the 80-year-old people get lung cancer, that's not always the case. Even though statistically, you know, lung cancer, heart, heart disease, strokes, emphysema are more common in older people, they can occur in young people. I mean, there are people in their 30s and 40s who have lung cancer. I mean, it sucks, but I mean, yeah, 
there are people in their 40s and 50s who develop lung cancer and have massive heart attacks and end up dying, cardiac arrest and end up dying as a result of smoking. So there are people in their 40s who develop throat cancer, mouth cancer, tongue cancer, you know, pancreatic cancer. It's not as common as people in their you know, there's 60s, 70s, and 80s, but it does occur. I mean, the shit does occur. It's like, you know, so the, the, the key message is, first off, you're not a smoker. Please don't start. It's not a good habit to start. It's not a good hobby. Even cigars and pipes, big ass cigars, big ass pipes are not a good habit to start. No way in hell. And if you, if you're not a smoker, please don't start. It's not a good thing to start. And if you are a smoker at any point in your life, Quitting smoking has benefits. Even if you unfortunately do have cancer, your, the quality of your life will improve. Even if your cancer is incurable, the quality of your life will improve. Your overall, you know, you know, quality of your life will improve. So the whole freaking point, the whole fucking point is quitting at any time is beneficial, but quitting before the age of 35 has benefits because most people, not a doctor, not a fucking doctor, most people, by the time they were 30 years old, 31 years old, 32 years old, do not have detrimental health consequences by that point. And that's the time to quit. That's the key time to quit is before you turn 35 years old. Anyway, I've rambled on long enough. Bye-bye. Pretty freaking cool.